Hello y'all, I'm Brushfire Wind Dragon, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am playing Deltarune. Are you there? Are we connected? Now I've played Undertale. Excellent. And I do have an Undertale AU as a writer but I do wonder how this would affect my AU we may begin first we must create a vessel select the head that you prefer now, I had some trouble recruiting the first part. I proceeded to record the wrong screen. So you couldn't see any of the gameplay at all. Basically, the legs are all the same except for this last one. Ah. This is your. You accept it? Uh, sure. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Stop. I got texture issues. I don't understand favorite blood type because I was pretty sure there's only A, B, A, B, and O. What color does it like most? Red, blue, green, and sunny. Say red because pink is. There's no pink in Undertale. <laughs> Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, voice. Well, I kind of wonder, you know. It's supposed to be. It, it looks like it's based on the, uh, the soul colors from Undertale. I don't know what voice would be. I'll choose kindness. For about your creation, I'm not here. Love not discussed you. Yeah. Oh. Have you answered honestly? Oh, uh, yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure. Yes. Stuff happens. Understood. Name your vessel. Huh? Let's see. Fresh fire. It says more letters than you could when you were naming your Undertale character. Or Fresk. Fresh fire. Brush fire? Excellent. Truly excellent. Brush fire. Thank you. Will now be discarded. I don't understand. What was like the whole point of creating a character if you don't get, you're not allowed to use it? 
your name is. Hi, goat mom. I think she's wearing glasses more often this time around. Chris, Chris, if you do not wake up, we will be late for school. I will wait outside for you, all right? Close drawer, your bed. It's stained, yeah, but like, with well, what? It's a red wagon with a rusty bird cage in it. Looks like it's seen quite a few crashes. What happened to the bird? Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. Can't look at the, uh, um, rug, I guess. The door is mostly empty except for a very old school ID with an embarrassing haircut. There's nothing useful in the door. Oh, that wasn't what was in there last time. There are CDs under the bed. Classical, jazz, religious, ska. I'm still not sure how that works. There's also a game console. It has one normal controller and one knockoff one. Yes, yeah, basically what was happening in the 90s. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a computer desk. There are many boxes under it filled with old books. I can't see... The trophy's up there. Cactus. There's not much to say about it. There are crayons in the drawer. The labels have long faded and there's no green. It's only you. Like that one mirror in Undertale. Door is locked. It's been too long since I've played Undertale. <laughs> There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific refutation. It's not that they have tails, it's stories about snails. Why? Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of the History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. I didn't know the turtle guy's last name was Boom. He looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys Body Spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. Oh, I wonder why. It's a toilet. Flush it. Yeah, let's flush the toilet. you did something good like found a secret or something <laughs> on the shower ledge there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo can't still can't look out the window <laughs> can't look at the de uh, table there's a photo on the fridge it's of you your mother and your brother so which one there is some white fur stuck in the drain. There's some cinnamon, cinnamon batter caked on the stove top. Cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Aww. It's a trash can. Somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent. Is that a spell? A sp spell or some kind of scent thingy? <laughs> it's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. It's Cheerio, the beloved living room chair. It's the TV. Doesn't seem to even be plugged in anymore. I can't look at this other chair. I can't look at the sofa either. It's a book of hymns. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Asriel visits next week. But I wonder, after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming to this little town? Asriel's been to university, so this seems like years later. That cat's only got one arm. Oh, uh, I'm dying! Why is it 
this is what well, we have one the parking spot. That seems really odd to me. <laughs> My chair is getting more uncomfortable. <laughs> Aw, goat mom. So, does everyone have a... Oh. Oh, G Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Um, so walk around and find a partner, okay? Timmy! Chris! Ah, they're sores. Tim already have a partner. Who is Tim's partner? Oh. Tim's partner is The Rock. Okay, I did not catch that before. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having a partner with Snowy, yeah. Now he keeps turning to me and saying howdy partner like a cowboy. It's so I guess, Monster Kid. Partner, I heard you know her. Ah, what do you think of that one? Funny, right? Kind of. I a cat was just trying to leave out of the room. <laughs> no? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Sprint. Okay, Snowy. Chris, you know Jockington and Caddy are always partners! We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was horrific, and they were in a hoops for us. So she used me instead. I'm sorry. Story? Yeah, you just use somebody as a hula hoop. It's, yeah. I ran into the desk. Tap, tap. She's on her phone. Taken. Yeah, Chris. This is Miss Mugbird. Oh, God. Hi, Chris. Late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. No, babes. Yes, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot on this assignment. How did you even do that with your face? <laughs> nah, I actually want to get an A. I just realized Piggy's partner is an egg, not a rock. That makes more sense. Somehow. <laughs> hey, Chris, what's up? Did you put your pencil again? Here, you want the candy cane one or the one with the lights on it? Ah, you want to be partners? I'm um, sorry, Berkeley already asked me, but I could ask Miss Alpha if we can make a group of three. I'll ask if you're sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alpha, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I do not approve of this. Abort! Chris doesn't have a. Wow, what were you saying? To which you're saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just want to know it. Noel, can you please speak up? Oh. Uh, hi, Susie. I mean, poor Alpha stutters bad enough. Who's this? <laughs> she does seem kind of depressed. Am I late? Oh, no, no, you're fine. We'll be just some um, partners for the next group project. And, um, Susie, you're with Chris. <laughs> Great. No, no, now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chalk? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start classes without some. Ah, how about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. That's that's not going to help anything, Alphys. Uh, anyone, b please? <laughs> Hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good, good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? <laughs> Whatever. And 
Chris, can you go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble? Thanks, Chris. See you later. Yeah, thanks, Teach. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. I've always thought Susie can't be so bad, you know? I'm sure everything will turn out fine. And if you have time, could you say hi to her for me? Aww. Click, click, tap, tap. Don't die. Yeah, thanks, Caddy. Chris, if I had arms, I would take off this cool hat in remembrance of you. Oh, you just gonna say it? Yeah. Thanks, Shockington. Chris, didn't I say being late was a bad idea? Mm, it's almost the best you should have, as they say. Listened? Huh. Two. Vermin. Said egg. Never hatch. Where did you even get the egg? <laughs> oh, Chris, I'm sorry if I just waited to be your partner. You wouldn't have had to be hers. She's going to pound you to pieces, Chris. And then kick the butts of all those little pieces. Oh, yeah, thanks, monster kid. Chris, don't listen to him. It's not that bad. You'll probably survive Susie preening up. You'll just, you're just gonna fell. And she doesn't do any of your project. It's like we always say, Chris. You sues, you lose. Ah, uh, that's not very reassuring, huh? Yeah, thanks, Snowy. I caught on the table again. Chris, what's the hold up? Go out there. Oh yeah, thanks, thanks, Alphys. Wait, can I read this? Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astro Wolf. <laughs> Even in your darkest hour. And that one seems to be from a video game. Computers, wallpapers, writing, slideshow of nature. Images. Oh, and really an image of two buff superheroes embracing, blushing. <laughs> okay. Oh, Alphys. Well, that explains what's happening to the chalk. Chris! I didn't see you there. Hey. You didn't see anything just now, did you? Well, I expect from Chris's viewpoint he didn't. Hmm. You can't even say. Chris. Just because you're depressed, that doesn't mean you have to be a bully. Hey. Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, you can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Why would she be expelled for eating chalk? I mean, I could see some sort of punishment, but not expulsion. Ah, come on. Chris. Don't eat chalk. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, if I know you're going to kill it, I don't I just get expelled for the meal Chris, how do you feel? about losing your face. <laughs> nah. Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. Ah, oh, Susie. Alright, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class, and then, Chris, you'll, you'll do our project. How's that sound?
Don't bother answering. You haven't gotten it by now. Your choices don't matter. Let's go, freak. Yeah, this is like the only human in the school. The locker is covered in Shockington memorabilia. Are you ready for the Sadie Hawkman's dance? As opposed to Sadie Hawkins. Where the girls choose the boys they want to dance with. At this dance, all the chaperones wear giant hawk heads and screech at any students that make contact while dancing. You drank from the water fountain. Eh, yeah, people put their mouth on that, you know. Chris? What, realized the baby classroom was a better fit for you? Hey, actually, I should come with you. Maybe I'll find a better partner in there. Nah, actually, let's not. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. I'm not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Ah, oh, Susie. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We were just gonna we were just starting to have fun. Okay. That seems awfully dark. Oh, even Susie is scared. Hey Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? I ain't if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll We'll both go in at the same time. See? Why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. It's weird. I can't find the switch. I guess it's further in. Yeah, something is really wrong. Ugh. The big fur closet, huh? I think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris, I think this closet's up broke. There aren't any walls. Well, we worked hard enough. If Alice wants chalk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. What the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us. Uh oh. The floor. You're looking a little different, buddy. Ah, and this is a safe point. At times, you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... It gave me a different name this time. Hmm. Just Chris. Oh no, there it went. Okay, and I will be stopping there for now. Uh, it's oh, it's really interesting so far, and I will try. I will need to see how it fits into my AU. But uh, this is Brushfire Wind Dragon signing off. Uh, see you later.